Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jen. Thank you for stopping by to today's video. So today we are learning how to make water slide decals. And when I say that we're gonna learn how to make it, that means that I don't know how to make it, but I watch tons of videos here on YouTube and it seems to be pretty easy. So I'm in need of a water slide decal for my pencil. Excuse me, sir. Jemaya. <laughs> so I'm in need of a water slide decal for my pencil tumbler that I'm working on for my daughter's teacher. So this is the pencil tumbler that I made and um, I want to add the quote that says an influence of a teacher can never be erased to this. And I usually buy my water slide decals on Etsy, but they can run anywhere from $3 to $5, and sometimes you have to pay shipping. So it's cheaper just to buy the pack online, which I did. So this is the water slide decal transfer papers. You can find this on Amazon, and this is for the inkjet printer. So you want to make sure that you pick up the um, type of printer that you have that corresponds with the paper. So I believe this was like $13.99. And I also picked up the matte clear spray. I will go ahead and link the printer that I am using. So again, I don't know how to make a water slide decal, but we're gonna learn together. Hopefully I don't steer you guys in the wrong direction. And um, let's go ahead and get this video started. I will go ahead and link all of the items that I use in today's video in the description box below so it will be easy access for you in case you want to purchase it from there. I have become an Amazon affiliate. Yay! Mama needs all the coins for the channel. So um, if you do use my links, I do earn a small commission from your purchase. Okay, so I purchased the file and I can just show you guys what it looks like. Here, this is what it looks like. The influence of a good teacher can never be erased. I have a monthly subscription, so um, I just like I just downloaded this file. So now it is right here. The influence of a teacher, and I just bought this one. <laughs> um, so we are going to open it. In my silhouette software, I use the silhouette cameo 3 and I'm whispering because Elijah is actually sleeping. So, okay, so it's loading and I'm just gonna select the whole thing. We're gonna make this black. Okay, I'm going to put it on my Cameo, and I'm going to put it on custom 12 by 12. Okay, and then I want to show the grid. I do want to show the grid. Okay, I need to resize this. This is obviously like way too big. Okay, so I uploaded my design, and I'm not, I don't need to cut this out on my Cameo. Um, I'm going to cut it by hand. So what I need to do now is I need to size it. So I'm going to find the correct sizing, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found this from um, the Pixel Mama, and it says that for the size tumbler, which is 30, we need to do it three by four. So that is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do three inches high right here, and then four inches wide right here. Okay, that looks really small. So we are going to I'm 
going to duplicate this. Okay, so I purchased my image. I uploaded it into my Silhouette software. I sized it to be 3x4. And now we're going to go ahead and try and print this out. Okay, so I went ahead and I changed the orientation. I never print on my Cameo, so that was a little bit of a challenge to figure out what exactly to do. But these are the directions to the water slide paper. So we just have to print a picture, put it on a dry surface, spray the surface, um, dry the surface, then it can cut, and then you can put it into the water. Um, and then transfer it to your item, then get rid of the bubbles, and then you don't have to bake the tumbler. We'll just let it dry. So this is a little instruction. All right, so we're gonna try to uh, print this out. Okay, so I selected my printer, which is the NV5000 series. I changed the paper on my printer to be the A4 size. And now we're going to change the paper settings from plain paper to um, glossy print quality we're gonna do best and then um, borders or boundaries I'm gonna leave that alone okay we're gonna press ok here apply and we're gonna go ahead and print all right let's see if that prints let's see if that prints All right, so it's been a couple hours. It's been a couple hours? Yeah, so it's been a couple hours, and for some reason, my printer is saying that it's offline, which I don't know why, because when I check it on the HP app, it's supposed to be like Bluetooth, and it has a little check mark on it. So, and it says printer status is ready. Printer status is ready, so I don't know why it's not printing. It says available to receive your files. So I have this old HP printer over here. Can I pick it up at the same time? Ugh. I have this like old HP printer here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the USB port since it's HP. I'm assuming that it will fit all the same size ports and um we're gonna see if i can just direct print so that we can get this moving because it's about to start getting dark soon and if it gets dark then i cannot film showing you guys how to apply it and i will have to wait until tomorrow so let's see can we just have a quick tutorial a quick tutorial besito achito he ready he ready he ready to fight this printer. He ready to fight this printer. Okay guys, so I direct connected my printer to the computer and I loaded the paper. It finally says ready on the status and it doesn't say um, offline. So let's see if it works. And then I added um, Eden's teacher's name, which is Miss Sherwood, so that I don't waste the bottom of the paper. So, let's see if it works. 
Oh, you know what? Let me check the preferences since I did direct connect the printer. So let's see. Okay, good thing I checked it. So I need to change it to a glossy and then print quality best. And print on both sides, borders. All right, so apply those preferences and then let's print it and let's see what happens. So I had to print it two times. This unfortunately was my bad. I accidentally uh, put the paper the wrong side. So this is the flat side and this is the glossy side. So if you have the HP Envy 5055, you want to put your paper glossy side down in order for it to print. So this is what it looks like. It looks beautiful. It looks shiny. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in this little Amazon box. And I'm going to use um, this matte clear enamel spray. I'm going to spray it uh, four times, 30 minutes in between to get a seal. And then in the morning, I might do one more coat because I did see a video saying that minimum was three, but recommended was four to five. So I will go ahead and spray this and then we will try it tomorrow to see how it goes. All right, guys, so I sprayed the water slide paper uh, about three times the, the day before, and then I sprayed it once today, and I let it completely dry. That's what it looks like. I got a little spot right here. I'm not sure what that is. So I sprayed it four times. So now what we're going to do is... Just gonna cut a piece out, and next time I think I'll try to space them out a little better. So I'm just gonna cut it out. Okay, so this is our water slide. And then this is my epoxied pencil cup. That's what that looks like. So I'm just going to find a nice smooth spot for it to go. Let's see. I know there's some places that I need to sand, like right here. I need to sand that. So I'm going to try to find the most smoothest part of the cup, which. I saw in a video that you don't want to place your water slide anywhere that you need to sand. Okay, so, all right, I think this is the front. Yep, I think this is the front. And I'm just going to size it, see if I like it. I think that looks good. So I move that to the side. And we're going to put this in. I'm just going to put it upside down. And I'm going to hold it there. It's going to start to curl up. I'm just going to hold it there for a little bit. Starts moving. Okay, I'm 
just gonna leave it there until it starts being able to wiggle once it starts being able to slide then I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up I'm gonna go get my silicone brush I will be right back okay so I just have my silicone brush and we're gonna okay I'm able to move it so just gonna move this over and I'm gonna find my spot again that I wanted it to go on okay so we're gonna place it Then I'm just gonna go ahead and like I forgot to wet it. Oh guys, you wanna you wanna wet your surface. You wanna wet your surface. I'm so sorry. I, I totally forgot to wet it. So that you can be able to move it around. So I'm just going to just wet my surface really quickly. Okay. So now I'm just going to work it a little bit, very carefully, I'm going to try to move it, and that's what it's looking like right now. Let's see, let's see, okay. I'm just gonna I have a curved cup so what I'm gonna do just so everything can lay flat I'm just gonna lift it a little bit so that my whole uh, water slide oh I ripped it a little bit so my whole water slide could be like on the flat part of the cup. There we go. I ripped it a little bit, but that's okay. Hopefully it's not too noticeable. I'm gonna try to squeegee out all of the water. it out I am wetting the silicone brush while trying to squeegee out the water because I want it to like glide as easy as possible I did rip it a little bit so I just want to make sure I keep that aligned there we go. I don't want to mess with that part too much just gonna make sure that my edges are nice and smooth. You guys, I'm so excited to be able to do this. Like, once you get all of your supplies, like, honestly, the possibilities are endless. Like, I love Etsy, I really do. I'm on Etsy, but sometimes things can get a little pricey. I mean, handmade things are pricey in general because, as you can see, like, it takes a lot of time, a lot of like working out little issues that you may occur all right guys look that is what it's looking like i'm just going to hold it up and make sure that it's straight i'm just going to stare at it for a little bit make sure that it's nice and straight i love it i'm so excited Okay guys, so I'm just going to let this sit and then um, in a couple of hours, maybe like, 
an hour or two, I'm going to take Eden to the Michaels Kids Craft Class. And um, I'm going to let this dry. And then we'll add the, the name and the back of it. Yeah, but once you get past the initial like printing issue, it's really easy. It's really, really easy. I highly recommend you guys invest in the water slide paper and um, the sealer and just work at it at home. I mean, as you guys can see, like, I messed up. I printed it on the wrong side, but that was pretty much the only issue. I bought the file that I wanted. You can make your own file. I uploaded it to my software. Anyone can use the Cameo software. You don't need to have a cutter to use it. You upload your design there, you print it out on your water slide decal, you spray it a couple times, and then you can apply it. Look how easy that is. I'm going to save myself so much money doing this. Alright, we'll be back in a little bit to apply um, Mr. Sherwood's name on the back. Okay, so really quickly, I had this 4x6 um, album from the Dollar Tree in my craft room that I wasn't using. So it's the perfect size to store your water slide decals to protect them. Whether you're going to be um, selling them or keeping them or just making a bunch to prepare for future projects. So they fit perfect in one of these sleeves. So I printed out four, so I have two here. And then this one I'm gonna send to my friend Bridget so she can test it out and see if she likes the quality of it in case I decide to start selling. And um, it's a perfect way to store your water slide decals. You can put a cute little picture, a little quote, and then you can just label it here with your label maker. Actually, I have a label maker, so let me go ahead and make a label for this real quick, and this will be my little water slide album. I spelled it wrong. I spelled water wrong. I literally spelled water wrong. There we go. So now I have a little water slide um, album. And then if I start making like the different categories, like all teacher quotes or like summer quotes or um, like biblical quotes, I can just add like the little category here of what it is. So super cute and expensive uh, storage to keep these safe because this paper is expensive. So we don't want to mess with that.
So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Bye. Say bye baby. Say bye. Look. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Is it nap time? It's nap time. Is it nap time? He's not gonna nap. I'll see you guys. Bye.